a lot of high school drivers here and police officers that like to drag race, so let's come to the track to where it's a safe environment and see what we can do. Our number one goal here tonight is safety. We pass a message to the high school students, don't race out on the street to where it's totally uncontrolled. You can lose your driver's license, you can lose your life or somebody else's. Come out here on a Wednesday night, it's safe. Lights and sirens are on, the adrenaline's going. Come have some fun, come race, and just talk to people, communicate, make some friends. Let's do it. The first time you usually meet a police officer as a new driver is when the red light comes on in the mirror. So that's kind of a negative. So I got the idea, let's make it a positive. I was out here and I saw all the high school students drag racing. I thought maybe we could get police officers to come out here and drag race in their everyday driven cars and in uniform. I went to the chief of police and he said, well, Sounds like a good idea, put it down on paper, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Well, this is the 28th year that I've been doing this. The whole point of that Top the Cop is trying to get the kids and the, the people off the streets to go race at a controlled environment to be safe and, and secure with their cars. There's a, a bridge that has to be crossed in order for, for them to participate and to race us. They gotta talk to us and we gotta talk to them. We come out here and we pair up with the kids, we talk to them, talk them about their cars, a lot of interesting cars, a lot of history behind some of the cars. We don't want to be drag racing or racing out there on the street. They're, they're really nice people, they really communicate well, they get a pretty cross of keeping the streets safe. It's all positive, a lot of fun, a lot of competition. The student will race the officer and if the officer wins, the student is gun informed the next time they're out here and they come and ask if they can do a rematch, which that happened tonight just not once but twice. The first time we raced, his car wasn't running up to par, so I got an e easy W, but he's got it dialed in and he wants to race, so. <laughs> tonight, I just outran him at the finish line. Here we go. We had a one-on-one -on -one drag race, and he won. And he believes he has bragging rights, which he doesn't. You don't get to clap that one out. You get to go <sighs> by the hair of my chinny chin chin. It's good, healthy competition between friends at this point. The next time, I'm going to put you in your place. Yeah, he'll be around three. The kids come out here with a big smile on their face, and they tell me that they don't race out on the street. They look forward to coming out here on a Wednesday night. They bring their friends or family and even their parents out. When they're done here, they go back to their respective schools and tell all their friends what a good time they had, and they come back with more friends. They're just thrilled to do this. It's a lot of fun and a lot of uh, gratification to hear that. I do this until they tell me I cannot, all the way till I retire, absolutely. Mm -hmm.